Hi right, guys, welcome to the third video of naming metallic compounds. Uh, once again, in the first video, I showed you how to name iron 3 chloride and iron 2 chloride and uh, how to write the formula, how it comes about. I showed you, I also showed you in the second video how to name nickel 2 oxide, write the formula. Uh, also, how to write the formula of nickel 3 oxide and how to write the formula of uh, molybdenum 6 oxide. You know, basically how to get its name. Okay. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the name and write the formula again. But one for the more difficult problems. Okay. On this one, we're going to do it for uh, SN3 um, and 4. Now, on this, this is kind of uh, maybe kind of easy once again if you don't know what SN is uh, you can look on your yellow sheet or you can look in the back back here uh, SN is 10 so we know SN is 10 so we're going to write T-I-N and we know that nitrogen we've done so many of these now that we know that nitrogen is ni nitride okay now we need to Roman numeral now what do you think Roman numeral goes here? Do you think it's this 3 or do you think it's this 4? Well, if you said it was the 4, you're right. It's the one that's furthest away from SN. That's what belongs originally to SN as the charge. So we know that this is 10, 4, nitride. Okay. Now, this 3 belonged to the N. That's how we got this name. 10, 2, nitride. Now, let's say the next go around, they give you the name. Let's say the name that they give us on the next one is the following. Let's say they give us 10, 4, uh, whoops, I about wrote 6, but 10, uh, 10, 4, uh, say oxide. I know, I'm stuck on oxide. Well, it's great when they give you the name because the problem's easier. Okay, so 10, 4 oxide. What you would do is you would write down SN plus 4 for the Roman numeral. Now, here on the oxide, you would write down O. And what's charge of oxygen again? Now, once again, we know the charge of oxygen is negative 2 because it's in column 16. Anything in column 16 is a negative 2 charge unless specified differently on the uh, periodic table sheet in the wall in the classroom. Anyway, oxygen is negative 2. Now, once again, you're done with the plus and the minus sign, but look, we got a multiple of 2 here. This is a, a 4, and this is a 2. Let's reduce these. The 2 will become a 1. The 4 will become a 2. So we can now use these new numbers. The 1 will go down behind the SN, so that's SN1, which we don't write. And then O... Two. Great. And that's the formula of uh, 10 for oxide. Now let's do another one. Let's say that they gave you the formula of the following and they want you to get the name. So they gave you WN2. Now, uh, W, if you look on your uh, yellow sheet, uh, W is tungsten. Now look on the back of your yellow sheet because it's in the D block, and when you look, you'll notice that tungsten only has one ion. Now it does have a positive six charge, but there's no Roman numeral written on tungsten, so it doesn't need Roman numerals. So we know that this is tungsten, so we will write down tungsten T uh, U N G S T E N, and we know nitrogen is nitride. But, once again, no Roman numeral is needed here because there's only one cation of tungsten. So, here's the name of this one and you're done. And let's try to squeeze one more on here just to make the video end with four problems. That way you have a, uh, a good look at some. Uh, let's say that you had uh, the following. Let's say you had... Um, hmm. Let's so say you had 
B. Let me look on the sheet. Pick one out for us. Let's say you had V S two, and you needed to name that. Well, you know V. If you look on the sheet here, V is in the D block, so that should raise suspicion. Look on the back. Uh, you'll see that V is vanadium, and look at all the different isotopes of vanadium. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down vanadium. V A N uh, N A D I U M, and you have S, which we know from so many of the ones that we've done in the past. The S is sulfur, which becomes sulfide. Now we need to use a Roman numeral here, just because we got so many. Now, if you just did this problem at first glance, you would miss it because you think it would be vanadium 2 sulfide. That's actually incorrect because of this reason. Okay, when they give you uh, V S2, you need to work it backwards a little bit to figure out the Roman numeral. They're saying that this 2 belongs to vanadium, so they're saying that V is plus 2. And they're saying that this one that's written here belongs to the sulfide. So they're saying that S is a negative one charge. Now you know that's not right because on the periodic table sheet that I gave y'all, sulfur is in column 16. It's a negative two charge. So it should have a negative two. It shouldn't have a negative one charge like it does here. So you need to fix that. So we need to change it. So this should be S negative 2. So you got to double this. Okay. So this means that this should be a 4. Because you got to double it. So really what you have here is vanadium 4. So that's vanadium IV sulfide. Alright guys. I hope this is enough examples to refresh your mind on naming met uh, metallic compounds, writing their names, and writing their formulas. And if you have any other questions, and just get me in the more time or ask me to stay after school, and I'll stay a little while and help you out. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Good night.